This is a video on how to flash your Galaxy Note 2 back to 100% stock with the flash counter reset. Now this is specifically for the Note 2 variant, so you will absolutely not want to flash this file on any other Note 2. So this is all thanks to Billard412. This video is going to be very similar to the S3 video. He did the S3 on a couple other carriers, so he might do the Note 2 on a couple other carriers. I don't know. I will have the description updated the best uh, as I can with possibility of him having other phones that he supports. The description will be your best friend, I promise. Just click show more, expand it, and just read over the description. I'm going to try not to make it very cluttered, but he is working on getting the S4 version of this because so many of you asked me on my S3 video about it. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need is the latest Torp Recovery. That's easy. All you need is an app called Goo Manager. It is available from the Google Play Store. It's an app that I don't even have on here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It looks just like this right here, Goo Manager. Just install it, accept it, and then open it up. It should ask you for root access like grant or allow or something. If it doesn't, then you're not rooted. So you're gonna just gonna press menu, install open script recovery, press yes, and then you're gonna see 2601 is available. Now, for some reason, Goo Manager is not showing that 2610 is available. So all you gotta do is Google twerp sprint note two. Click the very first link. You'll find a link to download an image file and or tar file actually. And then you'll need an app called Mobile Odin, which does cost money, but you can get a light version from his website, I believe. And then you just flash recovery. You choose your internal external storage and you go down to the bottom, you press flash. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get this thing into recovery. We're going to power it off. As you can see, we have CyanogenMod. Another thing to consider is when you do this, you're going to be completely resetting your phone. You're going to lose everything. So make sure that you have titanium backup. Now, if you're having a phone with an external SD card, I recommend going to preferences and then choosing backup folder location right here and pressing detect and whole device. And then it should go on there and say that your backup was found on your external storage SD card one right there. If you're using your internal storage, it's simple. All you need is a file manager, root explorer, uh, science mods, file explorer, whatever. Go to your SD card and then you'll see a titanium backup folder. Um, I don't have one of course, but all you need to do is with titanium backup, just back up one single app and then it'll create a titanium backup folder on your internal storage. When you're on that file, just press on it, choose cut. After you press cut, uh, keep going back until you see your uh, external storage, which for me, it is the external SD card right there. Sometimes it'll be USB storage. Sometimes it'll be, a, a, what, you know, just find your external. You should know what you have on your SD, on your external storage, which is your micro SD card. And then just press paste. It'll move the titanium backup folder to your external storage. And then what you'll do is you'll open up titanium backup and then you'll press menu preferences, backup folder location, and then you'll choose detect, whole device. Now it should have gone from your internal storage to your external storage, so you press on it, and then you use current folder. And then when you back out, press menu, reload application, and then all of your apps, from here on out, they should start backing up and restoring from your external storage. Once you have it set to go on your external storage, then press the batch button, hit backup all user apps and system data, and press the checkbox. It'll back up everything, and it'll put it on its external storage, which you can see right there. That way, if, it, if your phone gets wiped or something, you don't have to worry about losing your titanium backup stuff because it's on your external storage. So let's go ahead and get started with the rest of this. Now that you backed up all your apps, if you chose to do that, and you have the latest recovery, all you gotta do is power the phone down, because after you go back to stock, uh, there's going to be an option to install Super SU right before you go back to stock. And if you choose to do that, then your phone will be rooted. If you don't choose to do that, then it won't be rooted and it'll be just like you got it from the Sprint store. So as you saw, we had Sanjumad. We obviously flashed a ROM, but I'm going to go ahead and hold the volume down, the power and the home button and get this thing into download mode. I'm going to press volume up and then you're going to see that it says, yes, I have three counts. So just hold the power button down for about 10 seconds or pull your battery out. If you got an OtterBox or some case where it makes it really, really hard to pull your battery out, just hold the, the power button down until it restarts. So unfortunately, it's gonna root back to Android, so we're gonna wait a minute. All right, so it's simple. Uh, once you, you know, I just showed you that my flash counter was reset, so I'm just gonna hold the power off, 
press OK, and we're going to go ahead and flash the stock. The reason I'm going stock, in case you're curious, is I had CM 10.1.2. Uh, it was a release candidate, and then I installed 10.1.3, release candidate 2, and my GPS still does not work. Outside, sitting on the roof of my truck with my phone pointing to the sky, it doesn't lock on when all my other phones do. So uh, even my freaking NVIDIA Shield has really good GPS. So we're going to hold volume up, the home button, and the power button, and we're going to manually boot this thing into recovery. Now this one's tricky. I believe you just hold it. Usually you'll see like a recovery booting option, but on this one, you just hold it. You might be able to let go. I don't know, but I'm not going to risk it. There we go. We're in team win recovery. So in the S3 and the S4, it says recovery booting. Now, if you have an external SD card, uh, go to backup, backup everything you want to backup. On here, move it to your micro SD card, your external SD card, press OK, and then enable compression and name it CM10.1.2 or whatever you are on by choosing the backup name right here. If you don't choose a name, it'll resort to a date, and then you won't know on that date, did I have stock? Did I have Jelly Bomb? Did I have CM10.1? Did I have CM10.2? So I recommend choosing a name and then pressing go. I'm gonna back up and then you're gonna swipe to back up. That's if you have an external SD card and you wanna do this. Now that you've backed everything up, if you chose to, which is gonna add some time to this video unfortunately, all you gotta do is go to wipe, choose swipe to factory reset. All right, that's done. We're gonna go back to install and we put the file on our external storage. I'll have a link in the description. Just go to his thread and you'll see a link to download MC2. That is if MC2 is the latest video, latest as of you're watching this video. Uh, by the time you watch this, there could be like, I don't know, MC7 or something, who knows. Uh, the Note 2 is supposed to be getting Android 4.3 in October. So that's another reason I'm flashing back to stock. You'll see it right there, MC2 stock with count reset. So that's the file we're flashing. We're gonna swipe to confirm flash and it's going to do its thing. Now, he adds a neat little thing that makes you kind of think your phone is screwed up. It, I panicked at first, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> do I need to hook this thing up to the computer and do I need to, you know, do flash it back to stock with Odin? This is so much more simpler than using Odin. This is beyond simple. All you need is to keep this file on your SD card and if your phone's messing up, or if you need to take your phone to the Sprint store, but you don't have a computer, or like me, if you're trying to go somewhere and your GPS does not work with Sanjamod and you're lost, if you had this on your external SD card, then you could just flash it at any given moment and go back to 100% stock. And you'll have the option of either having root when you're stock or not having root when you're stock. It's completely up to you. If you're taking your phone in for warranty purposes, then obviously you'll want to press do not install. If you're wanting to go back to stock to have, you know, your phone working 100%, then all you've got to do is press the, you know, swipe to root or whatever, and you'll have root access when you root back into stock Android. And as you can see right there, we are on 2610. So 2601 was not the latest. For some reason, Goo Manager does that. Just like I said, go to the Twerp website. There'll be a link to a Terechta, Terisha, whatever. And you'll want to download it from there because they're a lot better than Goo. I've flashed this file a few times actually before this video. Like, you know, ever since he first made this zip and I started first flashing it. Because like I'd try ROM out and then go back to stock. And then try another ROM out and go back to stock. Uh, as you saw, it does work. It just, at that first initial thing, it hangs for minutes. Like sometimes. I've had it hang for a few, couple minutes. And I kind of like pulled the battery root it back into custom recovery, I tried again, it hung again, so if it hangs for you, like I did, just give it some time. Uh, you know, as you can see by the time up here, it says it's 9.41 a.m., so you'll see what time it was when I first flashed it, so that should give you an idea how long it took. Don't, don't panic, just let it go through, <laughs> and also with uh, the benefit of having Torp recovery is you can charge your phone while you're doing this, so if your battery's kind of low, Make sure you have it plugged up into a charger while you're wiping and backing up and restoring and flashing and etc. All right, the reboot was or the ROM flash was successful. All we gotta do is press reboot system, and this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm not, I'm trying not to spend too much time on this, but this is very very important. If you swipe to install, it will put Super SU on your phone, and you will be rooted. So if you're trying to take your phone into Sprint. 
You just basically wasted time doing all this. So if you're trying to take it back in the sprint, press do not install. When it reboots, you will not have any indication at all that you ever rooted your phone. If they go into download mode, it'll say, see, this is what I was talking about. It, it does this little screen right here. Do not panic. See, told you, you were scared. We're almost done. I, I kind of had a panic attack at first, and then I had a good laugh about it. So, <laughs> Billard, you're, you're crazy, dude. So when Sprint checks your phone out, or whatever carrier that he happens to support, like the S3 supports a few other carriers, when they go to check it, it'll say flash count official, zero. It, nothing will indicate that you ever rooted it. Unless you keep your micro SD card in there and you have like Helium and Tatinia Backup and all these different root apps that you had on your SD card. So make sure you take that out of there when you give it to Sprint. And since we did the factory reset before flashing this ROM, we will not have to go into stock recovery and do a factory reset. But if you do get stuck on this Samsung screen right here and it doesn't go anywhere, then it's simple. Just hold the volume up, the home and the power button down until you get into stock recovery. When you're in stock recovery, Navigate with volume down until you see wipe uh, factory reset, press the power button, and then let it do its thing, and then reboot system. And uh, uh, the lights right here just lit up, so we don't have to do that. If you forgot to do a factory reset before flashing this ROM, it's going to hang on this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever until you, you know, do a factory reset. There we go. The screen just dimmed. It's fixing the startup. There we go. All right, we have a working phone now. It's really, really, really dim. Let me go ahead and sign in real quick. As you can see, we are 100% stock. I will open up my app drawer. First thing I do is press menu, view type, alphabetical grid, and now everything will be in alphabetical order. Because typically when it, you don't choose that option, it doesn't do an alphabetical order. But there's no super SU, nothing at all. I'm gonna go ahead and power down. And I'm going to show you that we do not have a flash counter anymore. It's going to say 100% official. All right, so just like before, volume up, the home button, and the power button. And keep holding it. This might take us into recovery. I don't, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's another indication right there that we have stock recovery at the moment. We do not have custom recovery. And what I was saying earlier is you just scroll down here to wipe, factory reset, and you press the power button. And then it's going to take a second, and when it does, just press volume up and choose reboot system, and you should be good to go there. It'll say rebooting. So volume down, home, yeah, see, there we go. Now we're in download mode. The other one was, re was recovery. Volume down is download mode. Volume up is recovery. Press volume up and check that out. Our flash counter is reset. We're on 100% official. Sprint will never know that we rooted this phone. When you're on the screen, just hold the power button down and wait for it to shut off and reboot. Like, I think you, I showed that earlier, but yeah, just wait a second. And then, any moment now. All right, let's try that again. Hold power. <laughs> it's not turning off for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the battery. I don't know why it turned off earlier, but it's not turning off now. It's freaking weird. Yeah, it's, it's not turning off. All right. All right, so I just pulled the battery out. Now I'm not returning my phone for warranty purposes, so I'm gonna go hook it up to the computer, I'm gonna run CF Auto Root, and I'm gonna keep stock recovery, because when I do that, I'll be able to install the 4.3 OTA from Sprint. As long as you don't have custom recovery, and as long as you don't remove any system apps, you should be able to just install it on top of your current setup. Don't remove any system apps, don't install custom recovery, don't change anything crazy like that. And there you go. That was how to flash your phone 100% stock, reset your flash counter, and now we have a fully working phone and GPS should lock on and work just fine. With over 20 satellites in use and 10 feet accuracy, I'd say that's a win. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and click the thumbs up button. And right next to that button will be a subscribe button. And please press that if you haven't subscribed already. Because I have many videos coming very soon on many devices. And I am getting the Note 3. Hopefully the day comes out. But we'll see. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.